So one, um, one thing I failed to mention a little bit earlier uh, was in your bulletins, we have um, special Thanksgiving um, offering envelopes. This is for next week. So anything above and beyond that, that, that you'd like to offer up to the Lord, um, please use these uh, beautiful, colorful envelopes. That's what those are for. Um, next, we have, uh, we have the pleasure of hearing from one of our dear brothers, Rick Terrell. Uh, Rick is our China House Church Shepherd, and uh, he had the, the opportunity to attend a conference um, in Houston specifically about house church ministry. And so we talk about house church ministry a whole lot at this church. This is, uh, this is what we do. Um, so Rick will give us uh, a, a great sharing on how you know he's learned about you know what we're doing how we're doing it and some of the fruit that's been born so let's welcome rick up to the front all right so um i'm actually not going to share as much details about the seminar um it's much going to be more about uh house church ministry and how we're doing it here and um, i'm mostly hoping that you guys will want to do more in house church ministry. So uh, I wrote it all down, so I'm just going to read what I wrote. So hi, everyone. I'm Rick. Uh, I'm the leader of our house church ministry. Uh, recently, I went to Houston for a house church seminar. Uh, my hope was to learn uh, things to help our church do house church better and to gain more clarity um, on our ministry's purpose. So I learned a lot, and I was encouraged through the testimonies from many shepherds who were doing the same things as us. Uh, I want to share with you just a couple thoughts, and I hope to encourage you in your faith and, your, and in your participation um, in house church ministry. As our church grows, more of you will become shepherds. I'm hoping you'll look forward to serving in this way. So uh, to start, I'll briefly just say what house church is. Uh, I know a lot of us are doing house church now, but I'll just remind uh, you guys in terms of how, uh, how we see it. So House Church is the New Testament church. The purpose is to encourage one another in Christ by meeting and sharing our lives. Through our relationships in House Church, the lost become saved, and the saved push each other to be more like Christ. To do this, we need to meet regularly, weekly, in order to have the time to build depth in our relationships. We also need to make our house churches safe, free of gossip, to be able to share deeply with each other. The center of our house church ministry is sacrifice and service, as Christ had already shown in his life. Like the disciples of his day, we meet in houses to be intimate and to treat each other as family. In order for us to be intimate, we need to keep our house churches small. To do that, we have to have many shepherds in our church. Ideally, before we get to 12 members in a house church, we're supposed to multiply. It's sometimes really fun to have a lot of people in a house church, but oftentimes this leads to times where people don't get to share at all, which means those people don't get to participate in this family that we're creating. To create the opportunities for our brothers and sisters and unsaved friends to share, we need more people to serve as shepherds of new house churches. So why would you be a shepherd? Um, so I have a busy life, and most, most of us do. Um, I work a lot, and I like to work. Uh, I have my own business with a business partner. Um, we make software for um, new devices. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's basically like another job, though. Um, I also run the virtual reality meetup in Orlando, which has like 2,500 members. Usually like less than 100 come out, but it's pretty cool. Um, and most of you know, I also have a family. I have a wife. I've got three kids. Rehan now is in middle school, so we go between two schools now. Um, and I try to go on dates with my wife. Uh, so why would I also be a house church shepherd? That's kind of the question I think would be uh, for myself. And uh, identity and worth. Those are the two words that came to my mind as I thought about why would you choose to be a shepherd. Um, so my identity is in Christ, and I value Christ. He's worthy. Being a shepherd is something I choose to do. In a world that constantly pressures us to do so many other things, this is my res response to say, I choose Christ. So seeing the hearts of my members as they share the deepest parts of their lives is very worthy. It feels right, and it even feels healthy when I see it. Um, people, come, people become human. They're not just a job, and they're not just a student. 
the best part um, is that my house church is actually God's house church. Uh, on my watch, I get to watch God transform others as they transform and as they share with one another. God transforms their hearts. Many of us are pressured right now. You're pressured by work to work more, to seek promotions. You're pressured by school to study more, to get into the best school. Um, you're even pressured by society to participate in things like politics and considered ignorant if you turn a blind eye to those events. And each of those things are good in their own. Work is good. School is good. These social and political parties are also good to help govern us well. Um, with all these pressures, I find that we need to fight for anything that comes from within us. Anything that is not a part of someone else's agenda, we need to fight for. So we need to fight for our time with God, and we need to fight to even serve God well. So I don't want to be defined by everyone else's agenda. My identity is not in the world or of this world. So I willingly participate in this world as an engineer, as a businessman, as a friend, a father, a husband. But serving as a shepherd is an extension of my identity that is already in Christ. It's just saying yes to what I already am. So my work, it may lay me off. My school may reject me. My business may fail. But Christ will always accept me, and doing this work for him is worthy. It's never in vain. It's always a blessing. Um, all right, so what do you want to, if you are interested in house church ministry, what to do? Um, if you ever have questions, you can always ask me, and you can also ask your shepherd. Um, as we grow, more of you are going to be sharing like this too. All right, so um, before I leave, I just want to pray for us as a church. Lord, uh, will you please put within us uh, a holy ambition to be used by you? Make us hungrier for you and remind us of how starved we are when we feed on the emptiness of this world. You alone bring us satisfaction. You alone bring us completeness. Our work in you is the only work that lasts in eternity. I pray now that as we, as a church, continue to serve you and grow close to you, that we would increase in our confidence in you and through you as we serve as uh, leaders in our church, and that you would continue to, um, that we would continue to learn true fellowship uh, through house church. Thank you for being the Lord over our church and for leading us, and for providing for us the perfect example of service and sacrifice in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen.